It's Tyrone from TyroneShum.com. Well, firstly, I wanted to share with you today the reasons why I suck at product launches. And it's not just to tell you that I was a failure at product launches, but it's just to reveal to you all my mistakes behind the scenes when I first launched the Mass Outsource Mastermind course. You may not have seen it or you may not have known, but there were a lot of big mistakes that I did. And I want to share with you today inside this video what I did wrong and what you can learn from these mistakes so that you can make sure that you won't do these same things as I did as well. And it's all part of the process of learning how to launch a product as well. When you go through this stage, you'll learn a hell of a lot of things. And for me, I learned so much. All right, so let's jump over to the Mass Outsource Mastermind page, which you can see right here. What I wanted to show you firstly was when I first launched this website, this is how it looked. It's revamped a little bit over time, but essentially everything has remained and everybody got 10 free videos here and also access to my Outsourcing Experts Revealed report. Now on the day of the launch, what happened was I sent out an email to my database and people who are on the database received this email. I'll show you right now. Now, this email that I sent out was actually the email saying to them to go to the sign-up page. And you'll see right here, there's a sign-up link there. Supposedly, when you click on this link, it's supposed to take up straight to this link. But unfortunately, when I sent this out to thousands of people, it went to the wrong link. And I was away asleep because the time that we launched it was roughly around about 10 a.m. or 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time U.S., and for me, that was roughly about 2 a.m. Sydney time. So I didn't know. I was already in bed and I thought, yep, that's fine. I'll wake up in the morning and hopefully I'll see the orders. Unfortunately, it was about six or seven hours later when I received this from my good friend Gideon. And Gideon goes and says, you know, your links are broken, right? And I was like, oh, in absolute horror. So <laughs> you can imagine what happened there. So anyway, that's a little thing that I recommend you do is just before you send out your emails, make sure you send a test email to yourself and click on the links yourself to test and make sure it goes to the right page. And that was the biggest mistake I didn't do. I didn't test it and make sure that the links work. So that's the first blunder that I had. The second one was even worse, <laughs> but I learned from this one. I'll show you a, a person who is also a student of mine now. She emailed, or actually, but didn't email. She tried emailing me and also tried sending it through to the support ticket system, which I had set up. And we had been testing it and thought that it was working, but in actual fact, it wasn't. So what happened was she had to go through three different means. First, through the ticket system, then the second through to admin, which didn't even work as well, and then through to a foreign post, and then finally through to the blog post which I finally did receive. So after about four times, she actually finally got to me and it wasn't her fault, it was actually my fault because for some reason, our systems were not set up properly and emails just didn't get coming to me. Anyway, this is what she, she wrote here. Hi, I'm a student of Yara's and have been interested in your program simply because of his recommendation and, and the trust I put him in as a teacher. Alas, I've tried several different ways of contacting him to get my questions answered at all to no avail. So obviously, it wasn't too good. In the end, I was very, very lucky that I managed to get hold of her and explain to her the whole situation and this was the message that I, I sent straight to her once I received a reply. So I can tell you, from this experience, the most important thing is to make sure that your customer service email system was working properly. For some reason, I don't know why, our admin at massoutsource.com was not forwarding to the correct address, our support system, ticket system was not receiving the emails correctly, so it was just a complete mess and you can imagine what happened for my product launch. Luckily for me, I still made it through and with all these mistakes, I still have uh, numerous members buy into the program. So I had a successful launch in the end anyway. But these were some of the biggest, biggest mistakes that I learned and lessons that I learned from doing this whole product launch and making sure that the next one that I launch, I wouldn't have these same problems and issues. But the thing that I wanted to just part with you today is so that you can get a knowledge of not everything is going to be perfect when you first launch your product that you're going to be launching at first because you're going to learn along the way that there's going to be little things that you can tweak and there's going to be little things that you're going to learn along the way. Like me, I had two major 
blunders. Firstly, the email that I sent out didn't even have the correct link, so therefore potentially I lost a lot of customers when they clicked through. Second thing was I was not able to even handle the customer support because it didn't even get to me. So those some of those things that you'll probably experience as well. But what I would recommend you do is to learn as much as you can. And I know that in the upcoming few days as well, Jeff Walker is going to be launching his product launch format, the product launch Formula 3 and it's been revised numerous over time and time again and it has shown so much success. And for me, I learned also based on some of his models and his principles well for what I did for my launch. And this is what I just wanted to share with you today is that not every launch is going to be the perfect one but you still will get through it. And when you do, that's where you succeed. And it's all about persistence and continue to improve on your systems. And now where I'm at at the moment is that Mass Outsource is doing very, very well. And it's also had numerous members continually join on and sign up to the program. So that's what I just wanted to part with you today. Yes, I really did suck at the beginning at for Mass Outsource, but I wanted to share that with you so that you can learn from my mistakes and that you won't have these issues happen to you today as well. Anyway, I'd love to hear your feedback and I'd love to hear how you've gone if you've ever done a product launch and also if you've never done one I'd love to hear what are your thoughts on trying to start up one and if you're struggling I'd love to be able to help you as well too. So just leave your feedback just below here on the post and also I'd love to hear any other comments that you may have as well. Well that's it for today's video. My name is Tyrone Shum and I'll catch you soon in the next one.